in this lecture let us discuss about validation testing which is a crucial part of the software development process it involves evaluating the software to ensure it meets the specified requirements and fulfills its intended purpose so here it mainly ensures that the product meets the required or uh, project meets the specified requirements and whether the developed product is suitable for the end users or not as well as it also verifies that the software system fulfills its intended purpose and whether it meets the requirements specified by the user or whether it is designed according to the needs specified by the user and it mainly focuses on checking whether the right product has been built rather than just building the product right so that is nothing but validation right so validation testing helps ensure that the final product is of high quality and also ready for deployment the main objective of validation testing is to ensure that the software meets all specified requirements including both functional and non functional and also validate that the software is user friendly and meets the needs of its intended users enhancing overall user satisfaction detect and address defects before deployment reducing the risks of issues in production and also it can assess the software performance under various conditions to ensure it operates efficiently and reliably validation testing encompasses several types each focusing on different aspect of software quality first one is user acceptance testing so this is usually conducted by the end users to ensure that the software meets their needs and requirements then uh, we have the system testing so it is the complete software system in order to check that whether it is designed according to the specified requirements or not so it will validate the entire system compliance with specified requirements then we have functional testing which validates the software against functional requirements to ensure it behaves as expected these are the steps in validation testing first is requirement analysis so here review and understand user requirements and all the specifications and also define acceptance criteria based on the requirements provided by the user whereas in test planning develop develop a validation test plan outlining objectives resources timelines and responsibilities also identify the types of testing to be performed like uh, whether it is an user acceptance testing functional testing or performance testing so we should identify the type of testing that should be performed here next coming to the test case development create detailed test cases that specify input conditions execution steps and expected outcomes also ensure coverage of all functionalities and scenarios including edge cases next in uh, test environments setup prepare the necessary environment for testing which includes hardware software and network configurations and also ensure that the test environment closely mimics the production environment then uh, test execution so execute the test cases according to the test plan and then uh, document the results for each test case noting any discrepancies between expected and actual outcomes then uh, defect reporting so log any defects identified during testing which include severity and steps to reproduce and also track the resolution of these defects and ensure proper retesting next is retesting and regression testing so after the defects are fixed perform regression testing to ensure that the changes did not introduce new issues next uh, user acceptance testing so this should be conducted with actual users to validate that the software meets their needs and expectations and gather feedback and also make necessary adjustment based on the user input then test closure or here final evaluation should be done so review all the testing activities and results to ensure all acceptance criteria are met prepare validation summary report that documents the testing process outcomes and any outstanding issues coming to the advantages of validation testing first one is it ensures quality 
so it contributes to the overall quality of the software by ensuring that it is reliable efficient and performs well under various conditions next uh, it even improves user satisfaction uh, which here right involves actual users in the testing process leading to higher satisfaction and better usability then risk mitigation this testing minimizes the risk of failures in production by thoroughly validating the software against real world scenarios it even improves communication so this can be done in various ways so first it includes the stakeholder in involvement so if we engage end users and stakeholders in the validation process it fosters open dialogue ensuring their needs and expectations are clearly understood and addressed and also validation process encourages precise documentation of requirements which helps clarify project goals and reduces misunderstandings among team members regular testing cycles provide opportunities for feedback allowing teams to adjust features and functionalities based on user input leading to more collaborative environment so in all these ways this validation testing improves communication next uh, coming to the disadvantages first thing is time consuming so this validation testing can be lengthy and resource intensive requiring significant time and effort from the testing team and stakeholders and it is very expensive because additional resources may be needed for testing activities which can increase the overall project cost then complexity so managing validation testing across various environments and configurations can be complex particularly for large systems then user dependency so user acceptance testing requires active participation from end users which can be challenging to coordinate 